Hello and welcome, and this is Japan, and this is another wrestling tier list here. We're going to, um, I don't know, go over the current state of the men's roster. We did the women's roster. should come out before this, but there should be a link. Um, but yeah, we're going to decide where to put these people, and I'm going to go the best of my knowledge to remember everybody. There's probably a lot of people I... I mean, I, there's a couple of people I don't even recognize right here. Um, main event, title chasers, somebody that should be pushed too early to tell or meh hurt. The meh hurt kind of be everybody else that just doesn't fit those ones. Um, yeah, there's going to be some people that just, you know, maybe they don't even need matches right now. So maybe we'll put that there. Um, right off the bat, almost, uh, I like almost as like an outside character and like, I feel like he could be something, but I just, I, I don't think it's worth it. Like, I don't think this could be worth what the build that they need to do with him. Um, and I think the WWE has definitely shown that they're ready to pull the plug on it on themselves. I mean, like, they just, there's just no point. Uh, next up, we got Sheamus. See, Sheamus is, like, a great wrestler and great to put him somewhere, but... Like, he's kind of in that weird mid-card area right now, so I don't really know where you'd put him. I'm going to put him, though, probably in Title Chaser. I feel like, you know, going after that uh, Intercontinental or U.S. title is probably what his best bet is going to be. But maybe, just maybe, you know, World Heavyweight title at some point. I just, I don't think, I don't see it anytime soon. So at least maybe a mid-card title. He deserves to have a belt at least one more time. Um, before he inevitably he's gonna eventually have to quit. I mean that's how it goes. Angelo Dawkins. Uh, I think the tag team titles will probably get to them at some point. I feel like they're kind of setting that up with the uh, Hurt Business 2.0 versus uh, Judgment Day, possibly. You know, so I could definitely see them uh, doing it. I'm gonna say they need to push them. I think they should. I think they should pull the trigger on trying to get them the the tag titles. Uh, next up, AJ Styles. He's, he's definitely going to be a title chaser. I think they're setting up a little bit of bloodline feud. Maybe he'll get one match with Roman Reigns, possibly, or at least maybe a, a big match against Solo on a pay-per-view. Um, I feel like he's still going to be in that area that they could use him in that title chaser area. Um, now is Tazawa. Uh, I mean, he's going to match every once in a while, but I think that's going to be about it. Now we got the Chase U guys. Honestly, I, I don't really care too much for the Chase U guys. I think they're not bad wrestlers, but it's just not my gimmick. I'm going to put both of them in there for right now. Um, there's something about them that like I think they, they could build on, but it's just at the moment, I don't I don't think I don't think it's going to be an event that they go for. Um, man, I forgot his name immediately when I saw his face. Um, I think he's in NXT right now, and they're not doing much with him, so... We're going to put him down there. Same thing with uh, Apollo Crews. I like I liked some of his old storylines that I thought, like, you know, with his heel-type turn thing. I, I feel like they could have done something with him, but it just never panned out. I'm trying to think of who that is. I honestly, off the top of my head, could not think of who that is. I think it's part of, like, a tag team in NXT. Uh, I'm going to put too early to tell, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Same thing with Axiom. I... His gimmick isn't the greatest, but I, I do kind of like his moves out there, so I think there's a possibility that something can happen. Baron Corbin, I just have never really cared for any of his characters. I feel like yeah, pushing over some young talent in NXT could definitely help him um, possibly get a redemption arc and get into the main roster, but overall I don't think there's going to be a chance. Big E, I wish he would come back, but I know he's hurt, so we're going to put him in the hurt category. This is the one guy I saw immediately and have no clue who this is. Um, I, I sometimes, like, some of these other people just, like, they look noticeable. I might not even remember their name, but I'm like, I've maybe seen this person, maybe saw that person, or whatever, but not this guy. I I cannot think of it at all seeing him. Uh, Bobby Lashley is just going to be another title chaser, probably for a mid-card championship, but uh, they've kind of done that. Braun Strowman, I think he's hurt for a while um in a perfect world if he's not hurt i would love to see him in a title chasing area not really necessarily a push but just kind of being in there i did like his tag team with ricochet i thought that was great but it all of a sudden um you know dissipated um brock lesnar uh obviously he's main event talent i'm gonna put him up there it really doesn't matter because i think like he's pretty much 
kind of like remotely done right now so we'll just put him there for whenever he inevitably comes back because it's just going to be what happens um Braun breaker definitely needs a push i think he's just pretty solid i think he's just a solid wrestler and like he can really um play his role that he you know has been carving out in nxt and i think that that will be something really good down the line uh next up is bronson reed Bronson Reed, I think, is uh, phenomenal of his character work. His promos are pretty decent, and I think like he he's gonna get a push at some point. But like, keep just like not pulling the trigger. So I feel like he's gonna get stuck in that. So I'm gonna put too easy, too early to tell. Um, but something's gotta go f- fast. Uh, this guy. Some of these tag teams in NXT, uh, the men's tag team division is probably the weakest knowledge wise of what I I know pretty sure he's one of somebody i'm gonna put here because i don't know i i I don't know uh one half of the creed brothers i'm gonna put both of them in the too early to tell they can wrestle their asses off i have seen them wrestle quite a bit i just don't know where where the next step is for them um one half of the brawling brutes this one is uh god uh he was in the money in the bank this year i don't know why i'm blanking on his name i don't think they're gonna give him a push it it might be too early to tell butch that's what his name is like i feel like his push was the money in the bank but i don't think they're gonna you know do anything cameron grimes was another one they brought him up and like they used him for like two weeks and then he's disappeared i'm gonna put him on too early to tell Carmelo Hayes, I think he is him. He's the future. If he stays with WWE and he stays relatively injury-free, I I see him being a main event star at some point. Right now, definitely deserves a push. Definitely deserves to get pushed into that main roster. Um, But he just needs to drop this NXT title, I think, first and and go on there. But I think he needs to go hot right into a rivalry or it's going to be pretty bad for him because like you kind of just that happens with some of the nxt people they kind of just sit around for like a year out there instead of just cooking in nxt so they got to have be a little bit better with that and i think overall they will but right now um that's where i would put him uh cedric alexander i think he's wrestled a couple like house type shows he's just not gonna get that push ever um chad gable hey if i would have not just watched raw i would have put him on the push or on the title chaser. But they kind of just, with him getting destroyed by Bronson Reed, I just kind of think they took all that momentum away. I'm going to put too early to tell. There's still a possibility, but I think, I really think that it's uh, over with with him. Uh, Hat guy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know him or him. Obviously, we got Cody Rhodes, main eventer. What can you say? His, he's He's been there for this last year, just killing it last two years killing it that's the other half of another tag team i'm not really sure but we're not pushing him um i don't even know if he still wrestles another nxt guy dexter loomis uh not seen him since uh he was you know like all everybody else was called up i'm gonna put him in meh um that is uh he was t-bar and now he's die jack I think it's too early to tell, but I feel like he should eventually get a push. He might be on the little older side, so I don't know exactly where they're going to push him at, but, um, yeah. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, I would love for him to come back and, like, win a mid-card talent and hold it for a while, but I just don't see them doing it. We haven't seen him in forever. I think he's he's going to be past what they're going to do. Uh, Dom, uh, obviously, I don't even, I guess... I just guess push. I mean, they've pushing them, so I don't really, I don't know where you would put him. I, I, do you put him in the main event? Like he, he's on multiple shows and doing a lot of work. I guess you put him in the main event. I mean, he's been showing what he can do. Dragon Lee has been really good. I, I feel like I'm gonna put too early to tell. I think if he beats Dom for the title, I think you put him in the push. If he, if he loses to Dom and it's just kind of like a really bad match for him and you don't really see much of him after that, I think you just put him further down. But I don't know. I feel like they have something maybe coming with him, but I could be wrong. Uh, next up, is that Drew? 
but both of these are Drews, right? <laughs> um, I, I can't remember. I, I'm going to have to put them down there because I don't know. Some of the NXT men's talent, I know, like, of the higher, like, the, the higher tier ones, but not all of them. Drew McIntyre, he needs to be going for a title. He really needs to be going into a main event, but I feel like right now he's kind of stuck. I think, like, they had something brewing with him and Riddle, and with Riddle having maybe some issues, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get that. I do believe he's part of the tag team with these two guys. I think I saw that on an episode. Now I'm doubting myself. Um, Elias just got released, so he's gone. Dude, oh, it, the Ibar had an amazing match. Give him a push. Like, this man cooked on Raw. If you go watch Raw from uh, the 18th of September, that man cooked with Kofi Kingston, and he deserves a push. I'm going to put his Viking buddy with him because I feel like it could be an overall push. But, man, it, give him a new gimmick if you have to. But you've got to get this man a push if he can do that. Did they just get rid of Gable Stevenson? I'm not sure, but I'm going to put him down here because I think they got rid of him. So I don't think we're going to see him anytime soon. Da Vinci keeps losing. I think they need to get rid of him and appear him needs to get a new member. I think that would be a cool aspect. I'm trying to think maybe off the top of my head. Oh, Ilya Dragunov to Aperium? That might be a video idea. That actually sounds pretty decent. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That actually, might that might work. Uh, wait, he's he's Russian. It kind of fits the whole, you know, European vibe that they're going for. Hmm. I'm, I'm low key thinking that. Okay. Um, next up, Grayson Waller. I mean, he's getting a push even with just having the Grayson Waller effect. Um, even if he doesn't get as many wrestling matches, he's getting on screen time, and that's what they needed him for. Uh, obviously, main eventer right there is Gunther. Um, he's he got the new record for the Intercontinental Title. He's cooking every single week, so there, he's up there. I don't know who you are. You are. I know you're part of a tag team, but I don't know who you are. Don't know who you are. We'll just put a couple more guys in there. Just a, just a couple more guys. Okay. <laughs> Load that up a little bit so I can just all of a sudden get a little bit more room. Uh, Dragunov. Absolutely amazing matches. Needs the push. Needs the main roster. Maybe Imperium. Maybe. And then him eventually take out Gunter. I don't know. Or just go right after. I don't, those could be some good matches. I don't know. Uh, JD is getting a push, you know, with the Judgment Day. I think he's he's got he's cooking with them, so he's gonna be there. Um, is this one Jimmy? Oh, it looks like Jimmy. It's hard to tell. The hair. It's just what I'm trying to base it off of. Jimmy's getting a push. He's gonna get a solo push. He's gonna be um pretty solid on SmackDown. He's gonna be in some big storylines. Either way, hopefully they'll give him some solo matches where he can actually show off like his brother's doing. So I think that will uh, definitely help him out. Next up, why am I blanking on your name? You won the world championship, but Ginger Mahal, that's what it is. And um, I don't think they're going to give him a push. I, they started having him and you know his tag team out there for a while now, and they just uh, it just kind of was nothing. Uh, Joey Gargano. I'm going to put too early to tell. Uh, maybe it's just injuries that maybe is keeping him sidelined, but they haven't been using him, so I don't think it's great. Is that Eric Young? I know he's part of AJ Styles' group. I think that's who that is. I don't know. I, I don't I don't think they're going to be using him anytime soon, just kind of background. Um, Karrion Cross. I think there's. it's still too early to tell with him. I, I feel like they've given him some better stuff, but, like, they just don't stick with it. And that might not be his fault. Um, but I guess we'll see. Uh, next up, we got KO. KO's, like, main event stuff. Like, he's going to be in some type of picture this whole time. I feel like if uh, they ever break up the tag team, he'll be, you know, feuding with, like, Seth Rollins or something right off the bat. I mean, even back to Roman if they really wanted to. I think, you know, he, he has enough in-ring um, abilities that, like, he's going to be in that main event scene for a long time coming. Uh, next up, Kofi. Um, 
I don't even know what they're going to do with Kofi. You know, I think it's hard to say. Uh, I know they're not really giving him a push, and they're really not putting him in the title. He's definitely not a main event person. I uh, can't say too early to tell because he's been around forever. So I guess, sadly, I'm going to have to put him in the uh, LA Knight. Just keep pushing the man. He's doing great. I feel like they need to put a title on him, but I feel like even the hunger of us wanting to put a title on him is still good, and people are going to still be rooting for him. Logan Paul, um, too early to tell. I don't think he has enough time for the WWE, so it's going to be kind of hard for him to ever get a title uh, reign, but I feel like he's popular enough to possibly get it. Um, next up is Ludwig. I actually really like Ludwig. And I think he does some really good talking and some really good character work. I think we've seen it more with their story with the Alpha Academy. Give him a push. I, I feel like give him a push. He needs more solo push. Uh, other half of AJ Styles group. I don't know who that is. I forget. Like, I, I don't remember their names. I think one of them is Eric Young, but I could be wrong. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, both of these part of the Maximel models. I don't think they're going to get any type of push anytime soon. Uh, Montez Ford. I think they were pushing him hard back when I first started watching wrestling at the start of uh, this year. But I feel like it just kind of faded. I'm going to still put him in too early to tell. Um, I still feel like Angelo Dawkins has some, a better, better shot at being pushed as a solo star at the moment now that Ford's been back. The thing with Ford is I think he has the ability. I just there's just some disconnect that they haven't, you know, decided to uh push the the limits on him. Mustafa Lee, Mustafa Lee, I think you know, he had a premium live event. Now he's in NXT doing some stuff. I think he's going to get a little bit of a push, but I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. But I think we'll see him around. MVP is just kind of being a mouthpiece right now. I don't know either one of these people that is Dar, yeah. I'm not really sure with Dar. I'm going to just kind of skim through. Um, Pretty Deadly, I think, needs a push, especially once they're almost healed. We obviously got Damian Priest and Finn Balor, our main eventers right now, tag team champions. Um, I mean, obviously, Randy Orton, if he comes back, is going to be a main eventer, but I got to put him in the injured for the time being because we don't know if he's going to be back. Um, Otis is another one I think it's I don't know if it's too early to tell I just don't think they have anything to put him um, let's drop Bush Bush down because I really don't think he's going to get the push and we'll put too early to tell for Otis and um, I want to see skimming over these obviously Roman Reigns main event Trying to move some of these up so we have a little bit more space. Um, main event is kind of Rey Mysterio right now. I mean, obviously, he has a title. Most of the title people are going to be up at the top. Um, it's just kind of how it goes. Ricochet is a weird one because I feel like they should push him, but they haven't yet. And like I think they're not going to, but I want to put him in the push. I want him to give him one more chance. Just one more chance to see what he can do. And uh, possibly give him that title to to have around his a waist. Um, Riddle, I don't think it's going to have any chance of it. I'm trying to just get some people. Obviously, Seth Rollins should be up there. I think Austin Fury is definitely a title cha- chaser. I don't really see much. Uh, well, Solo definitely needs to be in there for a, a title. I really want to see like Solo like take the U.S. title off of Ray. Like uh, that's kind of a interesting way of doing it, but I just it would be interesting to me uh, to have that. If that makes any sense. Um, Jey Uso title chaser. I think they really need to put him in into some type of position for it. Um, Wesley needs a push. I'm trying to get some other space, man. Like this, the only problem. There's such a big roster. Santos Escobar, I don't really see um, them doing much with. I know they want to probably have him dethrone Ray, but I don't think it's really needed. Sami Zayn will put in the title chasers because obviously they're going to be going for the tag team titles. And 
Let's see, Shinsuke, they're pushing them, and I'm happy with it. Push them more, see what they can do. Uh, Trick Williams is somebody I really wish they can give a push. Uh, I think they're going to possibly give him, if he defeats Carmelo Hayes at some point, that could be, you know, something that they do. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I think at the bottom, there's not really anybody else I would put up into the, the top categories or pretty much other than the meh. So that's what we see. These pushes in the middle is kind of where we, some of them are personal. Some of them are what they're doing. Some of them are just, you know, possibly a guess of what uh, we think they're being pushed, but we don't know if they are. But that is the men's roster. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, I started a uh, wrestling podcast called What's Cooking Wrestling Podcast. It's every Tuesday at 3 o'clock on this channel. Um, we'll go show it some love in this video, too. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.